Welcome to Google. This will not be your average internship. We're looking at some sort of mental hunger games against a bunch of genius kids for just like a handful of jobs. Your interns? Yeah. Shut up. Deal with it. You're so old, though. <laughs> You know, I, I should have told my daughter to be an intern. I she should have aimed higher. News that Twitter interns, are you sitting down? Well, probably are. It's been a long show. If you were standing up the whole time, you'd be getting tired. Anyway, they make the equivalent of $81,000 a year. $81,000 a year. Back with our all-stars, Monica, Jonathan, Maddie. Jonathan, what are you making that? Tell me again about e big business, you know, just exploiting, <laughs> exploiting everybody. I mean, companies are guilty regardless, right? If they don't pay their interns, they say they're exploiting, you know, underage kids. If they do pay their interns, they're catching hell for that as well. You know, that's the a very good point. That's a very good. Is there a happy medium, though? Can we not be at 80 plus thousand? Uh, but I do, I do hear your point. Well, Neil, the, the money is wonderful. The real takeaway for these kids is the self-esteem and the skills they build through the work experience. This is why everyone who wants to raise the minimum wage doesn't get it. It's not the wage that really matters. It's the skills. It's the worst experience. It's the work ethic. Taking responsibility, that's the biggest payoff from any internship or low-level job. that's got to be a conga line at Twitter for <laughs> that internship. John is making a good sell. Right? I think I'm going to leave here and go get an internship <laughs> at Twitter after this. But, I mean, he's right. This is a good experience. This is a great uh, but is it making kids think that if they don't get that they've got a lousy internship it's a waste of time well perhaps if they can't get a job after but that's the whole point of internships right is they're supposed to be giving you this experience and the exposure that you can then use and take with you it's not supposed to be handing you your next job it's supposed to be something that does prepare you but at the end of the day you know no matter if you're working for Twitter or working for McDonald's if you're not the one who's going to hustle no one's going to hire you but we might build in an expectation here that this is what will happen for interns now. I don't see the downside of offering a rewarding position to people who want to work hard and have the skill set. And at the same token, young people have the highest levels of unemployment. So if we're going to kick them in the ass and say, hey, there are good opportunities By for By the way, we there. don't use that kind of language. I said arse. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. But, you know, any ass can do that. I mean, uh, you know, Johnny, I was thinking of this, and I could always remember as a kid, you know, I would have a variety of internships. Several of them I worked as a waiter at night. But I did eat the restaurant out of, uh, out of business. But my point was that it, you just valued the experience. What I'm worried with some kids, not all, because I think most kids are, are decent, hardworking, trying to get ahead just like we did when we were younger. But you might say, hey, Twitter is where I want to go, not because it's such a great company, not because it's such a great opportunity, but because you get this. And then you could have a short-lived expectation and a short-term view. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, Neil, that's, that's a good thing. It's good that these young people see that if they work hard, if they apply themselves, they they're can have tremendous... They're not working hard at Twitter, Jonathan. Come on. <laughs> they, they have to come up with what, hard, 140 Neil. characters. These, I'm richer than these... God in 140 characters. I mean... <laughs> hashtag Neil is they're, awesome. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> Neil is awesome. Very good. You're back. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they're, uh, they're watching these extremely I'm capable. The show, I have to defend my generation from the new disruptive technology that we're working for. But, you know, again, this is a great opportunity for someone to get involved in what is a new disruptive technology. Twitter, a couple of years, when I was graduating college, Twitter didn't even exist. So who knows what the next thing's going to be. That's when I was graduating reward. from college, the Internet didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a big difference, young lady. Don't rub it in my face. But isn't it great that we can both sit on this TV set and talk about all no. these? I mean, isn't it great, though? No. Look, at, look at how quickly we're tweeting about it. We're talking about pets.com being disruptive, so yeah. we'll see what happens. Well, there's it, but historically, how are we going to look back at this, John? Uh, Neil, I, people have said this is the bubble. I don't think it's the bubble. Uh, industries like Twitter and maybe Pets.com wasn't disrupted, but it <laughs> born Amazon. It born a million other cute. opportunities. So I, I think Twitter gotcha. is for real. I think a lot of the new technology is for real, and these kids are blessed to be able to have that firsthand experience. Okay. But these kids don't even appreciate how good you have it. <laughs> Stay around.